Hi everyone, I'm Steven and today I'm using toilet paper rolls and cotton balls to make a detective Pikachu hat. Let's get to it. To start off, I need to cut some strips of cereal box cardboard and staple them together so that they can wrap around my forehead. After adding cardboard strips running from front to back and side to side, I can just work on the ears, which are toilet paper rolls. I'm going to tape two together, flattening them slightly so they're more oval than round. I'll staple one end together and then cut around it to round it off so it looks like the end of an ear. All these open cuts I'll just tape together with masking tape so that the ear can hold its shape. I need to cut and tape the bottom of the ear too. Basically it just needs to be tapered at both ends of the ear. And with the last toilet paper roll, I'm going to cut that in half and add it to the bottom of each of the ear, tapering that too and cutting the corner at whatever angle that I kind of want the ear to stick out on. Okay, so now back to the cardboard. I need to cover all the gaps as best as I can with additional strips of cardboard. And I know that there's going to be gaps, but just to give myself a unified surface to work on, I'm going to cover everything as neatly as possible in masking tape, trying to make sure that all the gaps are covered. After that's done, I just need to figure out where the placement of the ears should be. Using a marker, I'm going to mark where I want each of them to be and then hot glue the ears onto the headpiece. You're going to have to hold it so the glue can dry, otherwise the weight of the ear will just make it fall off. Detective Pikachu has a little detective hat on, so I'm just going to make that out of some corrugated cardboard. Um, so I'm going to lay that cardboard next to the Pikachu ears that I just made and then roughly draw out how big I want the brim of this detective hat to be. It's a smaller hat, so it's going to be a smaller brim. I'm going to cut it down on both sides so it's in the hat shape I want and then trace it onto the cereal box cardboard, which I'll then glue on top of it later on in order to give it a smoother look. And that's just because the corrugated cardboard always has those corrugated bumpy lines. To form the top of the detective hat, I just cut out a circle from the cereal box cardboard and cut it into six pieces. It took me some time, but I bent and shaped the cardboard trimming here and there until I got a general dome. And I definitely recommend taking your time when gluing it together so none of the pieces fall apart. To form the little bow, roll a strip of thin cardboard around a pen or a marker. This is going to help it curve without actually creasing, because you want the bow to have a nice little curve. Make a little loop, and then the tails of the bow. The center of the bow can just be a dollop of hot glue, so don't worry about that. Once it's done, put the bow off to the side and start covering the ears with cotton balls. To do this, just take the cotton and gently pull it apart, gluing it on in pieces. And the more you pull it apart, the less lumpy and the more realistic it will be. I'll admit, I was a little impatient, so mine is kind of bumpy. After gluing all the cotton on, put the little detective hat on the ears to make sure that the proportions look okay. If everything looks good, move on to paint. I took the ears outside and spray painted them in yellow, but as they dried, I decided to first paint the detective hat in white in order to prime or give it a initial coat and then after that dried I painted everything in brown. I kept the sides of the hat a darker brown and then painted the rest a light brown. Don't forget to paint the bow too. The hat kind of looked flat to me just in solid brown so I decided to draw on a pattern in hopes that it would look like a tweed or give it some texture and all I did to give it this fake texture was to use a few different color pencils to draw straight lines down and then a squiggly line across. It looked pretty good, so I glued the bow on and then I went to go ch check to see if the ears were dry. They were dry, so I'm just going to lightly spray the tips of the ears in black so it looks like Pikachu. With that done, I'm going to glue on the detective hat and be back with the finished product. And there you have it, a Detective Pikachu hat. 
I've never tried making a realistic looking fur from cotton before, but I like the way it looks. So if you liked this video, please subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, and leave a comment. It would be fun to talk to everyone. Anyway, thanks, and see you soon everyone. Bye bye Pikachu! Chew!